Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Sun. And I guess technically Moon, I'm not really sure of how many differences there are. I did buy both games, so if I if I end up playing through both of them, I will totally tell you guys the differences. Now, uh, I want to explain a couple things right off the bat. One, I'm going into this game completely blind. Yeah, um, considering what happened with the last Pokemon LP that I tried, um, I realized that Pokemon for me is most fun when I don't know what's going to happen and when I can build a team off of whatever I want. And, you know, I decided with this one, instead of just trying to do something really formal, I think I'm just going to have fun with it. I'm going to let everybody in on the action too, so if you guys want to help me name some Pokemon, I'm totally up for it. Uh, everything besides my starter is totally up for grabs, and if I, unless I decide to name something just because I decided to name something, I don't know. We'll see. Now, let's, uh, let's just get it started, shall we? Now, I want this game to be in English, and apparently that's the only thing we really need to choose, so let's begin the game. Sweet, my settings have been saved, all right. Pretty simple stuff. You have a message from Alo from the Alolo region's own Professor Kukui. I already love the music. <laughs> it gives me a real island feel, I like it. Hang on now, G give me a second. I don't know what voice I should do for him. Hey there, good afternoon. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yay! Yeah. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here either. Such mysterious creatures. You'll find them all over. In the grass, in the caves, in the sky, and in the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon. And we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them. If we call ourselves Pokemon trainers, that is. Rock Ruff, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? Oh, look at you, you little cute dog, I want it. All right, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So, which photo should I use for your trainer passport? I have like a darker colored hair, I'm not really a blondie, so I'll go for that. All right, then let's spell out your name for me. Pretty simple stuff. I'll go with... Fire. Short, sweet, to the point. So you go by fire? Sure do. 10-4, good buddy. I'll let everybody out here know that you're on your way. Fire. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woohoo! Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Later. See you later, Professor. Fire, come help me with these boxes. So everybody, welcome to Pokemon Sun, presented by Game Freak. Game Freak, please no strike my channel. P please no copyright infringement. I promise, I just love this game. Alright, so this is our first island, I guess. From my knowledge of the game, I believe there are four main islands, and I think there's like a fifth secret island of some kind, maybe? 
Not entirely sure. I really want a rock rough if that's what they're called. Because they look so cute. I'm assuming it's gonna be some sort of rock normal type. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Now, fun fact. Wait a minute. Uh, I'll, I'll say there's some fun facts after these cutscenes. Ah, can't you just feel the warmth? The first day spent under the, under the Alola sun. It's so warm and bright here. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth, go get fire for me, would you? Meowth. We gotta do that stupid voice for every Meowth in the island. <laughs> Considering that Meowth is supposed to be pretty common here. Figured it'd be fun. Nice ditto pillow. I kind of want that. And there I am. Meow. All right. We can run. We can walk. We can look at trainer tips. Open the menu with the X button. All right, that's not that bad. We can look at all our stuff here. We can save immediately. We can go to our options. And the first thing I'm going to do is tech, turn tech speed on to as fast as humanly possible. Button mode. Oh, will function as the A button. I don't know why anybody would do that, but but okay. When you catch it, when you catch your, wait. When you catch a Pokemon when your party is full, you can choose the destination to send a Pokemon. Manual. Okay, yeah, I'd rather have it be manual instead of them automatically sending them away. So, party box is like a new thing I noticed. Uh, it, it'll be pretty interesting. Switch set. Nah, I'm gonna keep on switch as per usual. Battle effects will be on. Yes. I want that tech speed to be as fast as possible. Yeah, that's nice. The gamepad screen on it. I always change it to fast because I'm a fast reader, but considering I'm going to be, I'm going to be reading uh, all the text, or at least a majority of it, I figure I might want to be doing at least a little bit of fast, re uh, a little bit of fast speed, so I can just have it all there and be able to read it immediately. Anyway, you were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. So far, are you pumped to meet some alone Pokemon? Are you kidding me? I am actually super excited. That's right. I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful island everybody wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in this place must be friendly too, right? Was that the doorbell? That's gotta be Professor Kukui. Why don't you let him in, Fire? So, uh, one thing I kind of do want to make mention of really quickly before we continue these cutscenes. Um, if you hear a little bit of uh, audio jitters, um, but no video jitters, because I've been noticing uh, a couple small things. One, the video seems fine no matter how long I go, right? But sometimes the audio just kind of stutters for no reason, and it's not a problem that I could fix. Like, I'm sure you heard it right there. I heard it there. I'm not sure if it's picking up on, on camera or slash microphone, uh, but it's just one of those small things that I just find to be really annoying that I just can't fix right now. So, I actually really like how, how our mom actually had say uh, a bed this time around. I always find it weird that um, the moms in the Pokemon series never had their own beds. Hey there, Fire. The name's Kukui. Good to meet you, cousin. You gotta be tired after that long trip all the way out here to Alola. You feeling any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Alola. It's still daytime out here, yeah. Professor Kukui, yes, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, Mom, I just let myself in. Oh, and call me Kukui, would you? Welcome to Alola. Of course. I still remember seeing you battle in the Indigo Gym Leaders back in the Kanto all those years ago. You know? I've been in love with the low Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. 
<laughs> I was supposed to be visiting there to research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto gym leaders sure did prove me wrong. Hey now, Fire. Let's get a move on to the next town over, cousin. Time for you to meet the island Kahuna. And get yourself a Pokemon. Yeah! What, what in the world is a Kahuna? Sure, sure. The Kahunas are crazy strong Pokemon trainers here in Aloha, cousin. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. And the Kahuna who live in Iki Town is always happy to give a kid who wants to have an adventure their very own first Pokemon. Yeah! They simply give my boy a Pokemon? Then those Kahuna really are worth meeting. Hurry and get ready, Fire. Your bag and hat are and things are still in the boxes in your room, I think. You didn't leave your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk in there too, did you? Oh, I bet you've got... Oh! I bet you've got a styling hat to match mine. Yeah! Sure, let's go check that out. I believe our clothes are going to be customizable later on, so I can't wait to see what we can look like. Let's check the moving bag to get our hat and bag. I believe our bag is one of the things that we can't customize, maybe? Or maybe we will. I don't know. I'm more of a messenger bag kind of person than a backpack kind of person. Though I haven't used a messenger bag in a long time. If I'm going on a long trip though, I do use a backpack. It's just easier to keep like a laptop and stuff in a backpack, I feel. Oh god, that stuttering is really bothering me. Like, I'm really hoping it doesn't pick up, but if it is, I don't think there's anything I can actually do about it. It might be a problem with the filtering, but at this point, I'm too afraid to change anything. Like, I could change it to, like, bilinear, like... See, like, I can make the, like, line smooth, but I'm not sure if that filter changes anything. So, if it actually changes, uh, because the no filter just looks a little bit brighter and cleaner, and it looks less smudgy, which is why I prefer it like that. But when I first tested it, I tested it with non-linear, so... I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your Pokemon. That's a Stalin hat, cousin! <laughs> oh, look at that Meowth. Can't wait to catch me one. Your mom there, she's sure looking forward to you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's get going to Iki Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from the island Kahuna. Oh, yeah! I actually can't wait. Something else I should probably explain while we are walking and doing a bunch of uh, starter stuff. These episodes are probably going to be a little bit longer than the usual ones you guys are probably used to. So usually I do 20 minute episodes, but for, for an RPG like this, I'm probably going to do around 30-ish minutes. At least I'll try to. And also, the intro and outro might be a little bit different than usual. Usually what I do is have my... Um, like, I would always give an outro at the very end, but I'm going to be playing a crap uh, the, the crap out of Pokemon Sun. Welcome to paradise, cousin. This is Alo This is the Alola region. Folks here in Alola get along by living together with Pokemon and working together, too. After all, you can go anywhere. Yeah, as long as you've got Pokemon helping you out here. That's why we gotta get you to the Kahuna. First off, to Iki Town. Come on, it's not too far if we cut up here. So I'll be probably saving frequently, and if there are any like weird glitches or anything that happens due to this crap capture card that I've had for like a year and a half that I ended up dropping out of my car, um, oh god, this game already looks freaking fantastic. I love it. it looks even better on the actual capture for some reason. A lot brighter and more vibrant. Probably due to my uh, actual graphic settings. Anyway, so fire, you loving Alola already, yeah? That's what I like to hear. The more you love Alola, the happier I'll be. Oh yeah! Look there! Looks like an excited Alolan trainer's come to us. Professor Kukui, you gotta recommend another move for me sometime. Please? Why? You already know which moves you want to use, yeah? You come find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move, and, I'll, and then I'll battle you. Oh god, when is the earliest instance of me catching a Pikachu? Because I'm gonna do it. See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into the tall grass here. Yeah! 
to try and catch some wild Pokemon to add to your team. <laughs> then trainers go up against one another in the battle. In battle with Pokemon they love. Come on, Young Goose. Young Goose, the Trump Pokemon. <laughs> I still find that comparison hilarious. How's it? You're the new kid that just flew in. Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. Having Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with other people, see? Now, let's get moving. Icky Town is right over here. Oh, the music is lovely in this game. And we're here. That's right. Here it is. Icky Town. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tekpu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? That's pretty nice. Hmm? Huh? What's going on here? We're supposed to meet everybody right here. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe they're all back there on Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are. Yeah. Fire, do me a solid and go find the island Kahuna. I'll wait around here to make sure we don't miss each other. What does the island Kahuna look like? Uh, the island Kahuna? You can't miss him. It looks just like a Kahuna. I don't... What? What? I don't know what a Kahuna looks like. <laughs> Kukui, I don't know what a, what a Kahuna looks like at all. I don't, I don't live here, friend. Though I do see a cutie up ahead. Really? You want to go up in the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. I don't know why I just give women like this weird British accent, but that girl is real cute looking. Oh, so this is probably one of my favorite early songs right here. Now, I've only ever played the intro due to testing reasons, and that's pretty much how I know that I'm having problems with my audio setup. But we'll see if I can fix them more later on down the line. I just don't want to be too late on the on the party, you know, you know, a little late to the party. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. Oh, that stutter is going to kill me. If anybody actually knows anything about 3DS capture, I would love some help with this. But if you don't, that's fine too. I don't know what that Pokemon is, but I want it. I want it real bad. Ah! What's wrong? Are you okay? Help! Save Nebby! <laughs> I maybe I shouldn't be doing noises for Pokemon. That might be a bad idea. The sparrow are attacking it, but but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. I got this. Oh wow, well, that's a bad sign. Do I have to like walk or is it? No, it, it happens regardless. Okay, that's good to know. Why are sparrows such dicks? In like everything. Okay, you look cool. I don't know who you are, but I want you to help me beat people up. 
and steal money from small children. Please help. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Debbie. You know what happened the last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were just trying to save me that time. And I couldn't even help you in return. Nebby looks adorable. I want him. Like, that is something I would have a plush of. What? What is that? A sparkling stone? It feels almost... warm somehow. Oh, her theme is so... it's so delightful. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Madam, I must know your name, Tips Fedora. <laughs> Tips Pokemon hat. I think this stone must belong to you. No, but I mean, it doesn't belong to me, but I'll take it anyway. Please, don't tell anyone about this. About seeing Nebby. It's... It's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Why don't you just have him in a Pokeball? He seems like a Pokemon. Of some kind, at least. I'm really curious as to what Nebby is, though. Um... I'm worried you might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or... Or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you could see us back to town? Sure, I don't mind. Oh, also, uh, fun small fact, if you guys are going to be resetting for uh, either a good nature or for uh, for shiny Pokemon, I do believe you want to save right before this, because there is no uh, small save point or anything here. Hey, Fire! Looks like you missed the Kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant. Oh, yeah! Kukui, you know this cutie? I mean... This, um, wonderful lady. Looks like you already... Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes. You can call me Lily. And Lily here is... F and Lily, this here is Fire. He just moved to Alola. Take good care of him. So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna's back! Kahuna Hala has returned! A guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all of Alola. Yeah! I feel like they should sound like Waka for some reason, because every time they say yeah, I think yeah! I gotta think of a gruffled old voice for this guy. <clears throat> Have I, uh, missed something? Nah, but where'd you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Whenever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tepu Koko flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby was being attacked by Sparrow on the Plank Bridge when this boy helped it get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall into the river, the bottom of the ravine. That's when the island guardian deity swooped in to save them. Whew! That's something you don't hear every day. Ho! Oh. Oh. Although it is said to protect us, our Tepu Koko is rather a fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems I should entrust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. He'll make a fine trainer out of him. I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui has told me of your coming. I'm glad we got a chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon, let's have a look at you. Oh man, I actually had the toughest time choosing a starter between the grass type and the fire type. First off is the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet. 
I like Rowlet a lot. I like his design. I also like his later evolutions because I think they're really interesting looking. The next fire, next is the fire type Pokemon, Lilin. And last is the water type Pokemon, Puplio. Work. What what good what good sound effects I just made. Which Pokemon will you choose as your partner? Now, considering we can always like wonder trade and get these Pokemon later, I don't really find uh, a problem with having any of these types. But for me personally, I want to choose the fire type because I mean, my name is Fire. How could I not, right? But also because I love cats. I've always been allergic to cats, so I always like to like to have cats in like allergic. Uh, I'm sorry, in um in whatever kind of fictional mediums I can because I think they're cute, and especially Lilin, uh, Litten, because this boy is lit. Litten is like probably the cutest cat Pokemon I've ever seen. Look at him, he's adorable. Of course, I will choose him. Only when you have both chosen each other can you truly call call each other partners. I also had the wrong voice for him. It's alright, it doesn't matter. I'm just here for fun. I know I gotta be consistent with this stupid crap. So, let us see if this little litten has also just he also decides to choose you. Hey there, buddy. Litten is staring at you with some curiosity. Wow. You lifted Litten gently in your arms. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Sorry, it's, it's, too, it's too cute. It's too much. The fire type Pokemon Litten is stimming at you curiously. Oh, so little Litten has accepted you as well, Fire. Haven't accepted one another. You'll surely be friends for life. Would you like to give Litten a nickname? All right, like I said, my fire type, I kind of have a personal tradition of always calling my fire type the same thing in every Pokemon game I play. So I like... The Latin word for fire, Ignis, as my uh, starter's name. Though, like I said, every other Pokemon in the game will be, uh, I'll just be leaving up to you guys. Can't wait to find the name raider so that we can actually change the name and all that. So don't expect uh, very many names off the bat, but we'll have a good time. Nice to meet you, Litten. Phew! Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but... You, should you still stay in the bag and I, You should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. Of course. That's it, Fa. Now you've got a Pokemon. You're a real Pokemon trainer. Yeah! And here's a lovely gift for me to help you make it a special occasion, cousin. Sweet! I got a Pokedex! Looks kind of interesting. Not, not a bad design. I like it. The Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool. Yeah. That can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Litten, is already registered. So yeah. Check it out. And this is your trainer passport that I put together for you. Now, why don't you go introduce your new friend to your mom, Fi? Alright. Sounds good. Now, like I said before, I'm not going to have traditional intros and outros like I did before, though I will be recording for several, probably several hours, because I'm, I'm just going to be playing the crap out of this. And I'll play it how I want to play it, and I'll cut out any, any boring content in the middle. Who are you? Hey! You and me! Let's have a Pokemon battle! I don't actually know who this guy is, so I don't know what kind of voice to give him. <laughs> Where's the fire, boy? Um, that's, uh, that's my name, boy. And what kind of Pokemon battle would that be when you don't even give your name first, eh? Actually, I should probably give... Uh, I know his name already. His name is Hal. I should probably give Hal my name. Uh, my name. Fair enough. Then I'm Hal. My partner's Rowlet. Wait, what? Your Layton looks really cool, though. Thanks. Do you like Pokemon? 
Yeah, so let's battle. Can't wait for you to find your way to Iki Town. So I've been all over looking for you. Um, I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Oh yeah, your first Pokemon battle already. Just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins. Woohoo! I appreciate you being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect no holds barred battle from the both of you. So I wasn't expecting the rival to have the raw, like the Pokemon that's weak against yours, but I think I know the reason why. You will battle me, right? I know you will, right? Yeah, and I won't lose. All right, this is gonna be great. Very well then. Let the Pokemon battle begin. <laughs> 